Hello everyone and welcome back to this Arduino tutorial series. In this video, we are going to interface a 4 cross 4 keypad module with our Arduino. So it's having the alphabetic and the numeric values on it and this can be used to create to enter the single key or uh, to create a password protected door lock system or whatever the thing whatever the input you want to give any number of combination okay so how this keypad internally works i'm going to show you the internal circuit in on the proteus software so what i have done here the internal circuit of this proteus software is like so here what is the internal structure of this proteus uh, this uh, keypad module it's actually the push buttons connected in series and rows as you can see here i'm having the four push buttons in in a row and four four push buttons in a column and all the plus point for example say if this is a plus point and this is a plus point so all the plus points are common in a row so i have to connect this plus point with this plus point and this will be my common connection and this will make this will make my row one and secondly i have to connect this common this ground the ground of first the ground of second push button and the ground of n number of push buttons together in a column so in a, in series in uh, in a row i'm having common plus point and in a column i'm having common ground point for n number of push buttons so depending upon the number of push buttons number of buttons and number of connections you are having your number of connection may also vary so here i'm having the four uh, uh, buttons or four connections in a column so that's why i'm having row one row two row three and row four this is column one column two column three and column four so this is actually a two-dimensional array here so this is nothing but a two-dimensional array here so to read the any value To read any value for example say if i'm pressing this button so this signal will be high so uh, i have to read the i have to read the value from this particular uh, button so that will be defined and that will that value will be defined in the coding not directly we are fetching the values so what i have done here i have connected my row 1 to 6 row 2 to 7 row 3 to 8 and row 4 to 9 in the same way column 1 goes to 2 column go column 2 goes to 3 same similarly 3 and 4 so let's go to the coding part so what i have done here to, to connect your keypad module with the arduino you have to include this library library because all the functions for reading all the functions for reading the value from the keypad module are defined inside this particular library so whatever the values you want to give on that particular connection you have to define that values over here okay so now we have to map these values in the form of a 2 cross 2 array so this is a two dimensional array here these are the number of pins that we are having to which we have connected my uh, number row of pins and this is the column pins where i have connected the columns of my uh, keypad module to arduino and here i'm initializing my keypad module and here i have created a character type of variable to read the value to read a single character from the keypad module and using the serial dot begin function i have started the serial communication with a birth rate of 9600 in the loop function this loop function will repeat itself again and again i'm reading the character from the keypad module that's why i'm i have connected whatever the value i'm getting in the form of a character so keypad dot get key function will get the uh, a value whenever you are pressing any key on the keypad that value will be stored in the key value variable and i'm checking the length of this key value variable by converting this to string so if the length of my key value variable is greater than zero that means user has pressed a key on the keypad module that's why and uh, that value or that particular uh, character is stored inside this key value so the length is greater than zero if the length is greater than zero i'm, I'm will be printing 
I will be printing that particular character on the serial monitor and after that I'm erasing this value because if I'm not erasing this value this loop this condition will be get satisfied again and again and uh, this there will be a continuous flow of that particular value on the screen so I have connected uh, I have connected my keypad to the Arduino as well and firstly I will be showing the simulation in the Proteus okay. the compilation is done what we have to do we have to copy this code files location hex file from here and we have to paste this code in the Proteus okay we have to paste this code file in the Proteus click on OK minimize the screen and centralize this okay run this simulation this will take a time okay here is my serial monitor so whatever the key I'm pressing here that will be directly printed on the virtual terminal so I'm just pressing a random key value okay this oh, I got the six so one two three four five and six seven eight and nine star zero hash a b c and d so this is d this is c this is d this is b and this is this is a this is going to be the star value okay this is the simulation part where we have tested the circuit our internal circuit of our keypad module so let's upload this code in, into our arduino and check the working Upload is successful. Let's just open the serial monitor and check for the different values. So I have connected my keypad module with this my with my Arduino. So I'm just pressing one. I got the one. I'm pressing D. I got the D. Now zero nine six four five two three. So all the key values are working. Okay. So this was uh, all about the text coding, but. Uh, most of the people are some people are not familiar with this uh, text coding they are facing the issue they can interface anything with this Arduino or they are good in circuit but they are unable to write the code properly they are not familiar with the text programming so here is the PictoBlox this is the graphical coding platform and in this you can program n number of boards here. using the block coding you can program anything here just go to the advanced sensors you can get a keypad module, RFID, fingerprint sensor and other advanced type of sensor that you can interface here. So using these block coding you can also easily program this. Uh, you can uh, you can easily program your uh, Arduino to uh, for any of the sensors. So I'm just connecting my uh, Arduino with here and I'm uploading this code. Okay. Okay. Upload is successful. So what we have to do, we are in the log tab. We have to go to the serial monitor. We have to change the baud rate to 9600 because we have initialized the serial communication for 9600 baud rate. So press any of the key. Here you are getting the same values again. So this is how easily you can program your Arduino for any of the sensor that you want to program. How this is how the keypad module works. How we can interface this keypad module with our Arduino. So this is all about this is all for this video in the next video we will be creating a password protected door lock system where we have to enter a password to unlock the door otherwise uh, access will be access will not be granted okay so this is all for today thank you so much for watching